Andrea, and we're here to talk about The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. So, honestly, just like, what was your, after finishing the book, what was the first thing you thought? I was baffled about how crazy the storyline was and what happened to the police officer and how he got nothing done to him. It was crazy. For me, like, after I finished it right now, I just, like, I had to take a minute to, like, process it because, like, so many things happened, like, so quickly. Yeah, it was really really such a good book it was honestly life-changing yeah like honestly and like i don't even know how to process it because it just like went like straight into like this the story there was no like oh like good enough like right, like right away like what 30 pages in yeah. was dead, and all of a sudden it's just all this drama and drama for like 400 yeah, pages yeah exactly i didn't think about it and like going off of that like i wish we saw more of khalil's um personality from him rather than everybody talking about him yeah, because I probably would have, because everyone always said like, oh, Kilo was it, Kilo was that, but I also wanted to just hear more from him. No, absolutely. I feel, like, I feel like I was kind of missing something about him. Yeah, I felt it was, sad about. I know, that was what really made me sad, because then it's like, the perspective of the audience looking in, um, like, how we barely knew him, and these people were, like, making assumptions about him, and then, like, yeah. like we don't really know him. Yeah, so that's that's something I wish we got in more in the book. Like overall, it was like super, really, really good. Yeah. Like, I can't think of that many things to criticize. Honestly, I yeah, can't. yeah. Um, what did you think about Star? Star, I thought she was just like so cool, just the way, and she just felt like so like real. There was, yes. Because I just thought like, oh, there was never a point where she like got over it or she like. She learned to handle it better, I think, but she never, there's no problem, she just, like, got over it, or she would just, like, became all, like, chill. Right. Like, to the very end, she, like, cared so much about it, she was always, like, defending him, and just, like, never lost, like, her spirits. Yeah, her emotions were so raw and original, and I think that really connects back to, like, all of the Black Lives Matter protests, mm -hmm. and how it doesn't just affect, like, the witnesses, it affects everybody. Like, how the perspective of the whole neighborhood coming in together about it was just crazy. Yeah, that's why I think it's important for a lot. That's why I think a lot of people should really read this book because, like you said, it's like really relevant to absolutely all the things that were happening. And I think it's also important that like people read it just to know that the stuff is still happening because just because people like, got like tired of hearing it, people were just like, oh, it's not in the, it's not over the media anymore, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Like it still matters. Yeah, it's important to like still read these stories. And absolutely, know it happens. Yeah, and I think that really goes in with when Haley ignored the Emmett Till post. I think that shows like people will ignore posts about it and it's really important that people actually read these things through because it's so impactful to like our society and individuals. Mm -hmm. So to the characters, who's like your favorite character besides Star because she's like, she's the main one. Yeah, she was awesome. Probably, um, probably Seven. He was really supportive of Star and he was so respectful and especially in the scene where star fights Haley, yeah he like yeah. jumps in to defend her i love that scene. i loved that it was awesome i just loved all her family members like especially the dad just the way he was always like teaching her how to defend herself that she's like yes. worthy of respect from the, like when she was a little kid i just love like her whole family dynamic yeah it was just like so nice to see like how much they love each other i know it was so so nice to see such a supportive family it was mm -hmm. really cool like, like, who was your least favorite character? Oh, Haley. Haley. Obviously. Like, anytime she went in her mouth, she just, like, got me so mad. Because she oh was saying the most ignorant stuff. Yes. And then, like, getting mad when, she, when people were calling her ignorant and then being, like, being, like the victim. Yeah. It's like, oh. No, absolutely. Like, she would just say things. And I would, like, I would, like, have to close the book and, like, shake my head. Like, it was so frustrating. <laughs> like, every single thing. Like, she was just messing up all the time. Like, the, remember, like, the fried chicken comments? Oh, my gosh. Out of, like, that out was of nowhere. so frustrating. Out of nowhere. Like, it was ridiculous. <laughs> And then and what happened after that? After that it was like the Emma Till post and she acted all weird about it. And I she know, was like, and I was so confused. Like, why would you act weird about something that's so, like, so real? Yeah. And then to the very end, like, then I always thought like, oh, she would come around or she would like, you know, apologize. She would like realize something about herself. And it's like the very like last page, she was like, oh, sorry that you got mad at me. Like, and I was like, bro, like, no way no. that's real. I thought she would be genuine and apologize. Yeah. I guess that shows like. like I really okay. had people can be because I really had some hope. Like I was like, no, she's gonna come around. Like, yeah, she, something's gonna happen. She never come around. I know, so, so. and I, it was so frustrating, especially at the dance. I don't know if it was like junior prom, and she just totally ignored them. It was so frustrating. And she was like, she's so tough. Remember that part? But she was like, oh yeah, yeah. she's trying to like side eye them. It was yeah, like, I was girl, like, no, you're not no all way. That. Yeah, it was you're ridiculous. Not. And yeah, it was just really frustrating. I did love Maya though. She was awesome. 
No, I like the, like the solidarity they had. Yes. Because like, like, it was, it was like the Ben and Cheddar, because I thought like maybe my was the quiet because she's friends with Haley too, but it's like, no, she already went and defended her. Yeah, and it was really like, it was so heartwarming to see Maya like come in and mm -hmm. defend Star because of all of the comments that Haley made. Because mm -hmm. I was like, if Maya didn't defend her, I would have been so bad. I know. I just like every I like think most characters in the book, they all had like something to add. Yeah, Chris. I, like Chris. I loved Chris. Yeah, he was just like so sweet the whole time. I was trying to understand her, not trying yeah. to like minimize her feelings. I know, and like I know he had that moment during the dance where he like kind of ignored Star. Yeah. That got me frustrated and then he like went in and like apologized for his actions. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciated that. Yeah, I like he was all, like, like he was always like reflecting and able to admit like yeah, I messed up or yeah. I did something wrong. That's what I liked about him. Yeah, and he stayed with her till the end, mm -hmm. and like during the protests, and it was like so sweet, it was so sweet. I know, I like him. Yeah, he was so so cool, and I was like, that goes into like, what did you think like when you heard about how the cop didn't get um, like in trouble for it? What did you think? I just thought like. It was just so crazy to me. Like all that, and even like Star mentioned, like she had all the evidence, she did all the interviews, she put all the details in, saying he did this, and then like they still like defended the cop. It was like okay, was like what was like what was the point of like acting like you care? Because obviously they already had like the, the result, they already had the decision made before she even like was interviewed. Yeah, it, it was, was already decided. So absurd. It's like, like right when he shot Khalil, the cop was already in the clear. Cause like there's yeah. what was Star gonna do? Star could literally say everything right and like. I think, but like, right when that happened, I think um, it was already decided that he wasn't gonna get in trouble. Yeah, and so it was crazy because like, Star just was a lot of that she made. Like, she was always trying to like watch herself. She was always trying to present herself to be like, yeah, like the most like trying to be like super approachable, trying to make sure like you said, trying to make sure like she does everything right, says everything right, makes sure like nothing she said is like can be like taken apart or like make it look like a bad person. She still like didn't get the results. Yeah, and it was so frustrating, like how she would change herself depending on what school sh or like place she was at. Yeah. Like I felt like honestly really bad for her. Like she had mm -hmm. to really put on this facade and like like she couldn't do anything about getting that p police officer in jail because it was already decided. Yeah, that's just, that was just like such a sad part. Cause, and it has so many emotions during that book because there were so many times where it was like nice seeing her family yeah. like and try to also like, like a couple pages later something like tragic happens like exactly. like the house gets shot up or like the or like they're having a nice moment mm -hmm. with her brothers all of a sudden and, like also like the police like the announcement gets yeah. made it's just like it just kept going up and down i know like when seven's mom came by and like totally ruined the party that yeah. was so frustrating and like when star says like oh and he, he never saw she never saw like she never saw seven cry like that it was like that's so sad i know that was literally heartbreaking like it was so so sad i didn't even like i literally when i read it like i honestly had tears in my eyes it was so sad but like, mm -hmm. like how the book just dealt with so many different topics like the family dynamics yeah and start trying to like kind of like what's it called like kind of assimilate into her different into her new school to like be like accepted into her no, environment absolutely. just so many things that like were covering this book I just like loved the whole thing yeah it was so good I honestly like when I was literally like halfway through I was already recommending it to people because it was such a good book and I liked it so much Me yeah too. do you have like any final words like any um I think final words is just read this book I mean it's absolutely such a good read it's so worth it it's so it, there's heartwarming parts and then there's heartbreaking parts and it, that's what's really um that's what makes the book so good because like it never loses your attention always comment always comment you have. thank you for watching please comment any recommendations you have for us and please let us know if you want to join us for our next conversation and this is two nerds talking from long beach public library come back on march 25th to see our next conversation thank you bye